Welcome to the bottom shelf. I'm Josh. I'm Keith. And I'm Eric. It's recording day. Let's see what they think of this one. Joyce, can you tell our viewers at home what we're drinking? Today you are drinking Black Velvet. Black Velvet is a blended Canadian whiskey from the Black Velvet Distilling Company. It comes in at 80 proof and is aged for three years. We paid $9 with it usually costing around $10. As always, your prices may vary. Enjoy. Thanks, Joyce. Let's dive in and see what these guys think. As a reminder, I'm not doing this blind. I do know what the whiskey is. They do not. It's kind of sweeter on the nose. It's kind of perfumey. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of floral notes on this one. Yeah. It doesn't have like a, t like a strong alcohol burn. No, no, not at all. Like I can get my nose pretty far into this one. Oh yeah. yeah. I mean, stick my whole nose in there, mm. there's some. Yeah. But, like, that's a tolerable alcohol burn. A lot of cereal granola notes mm. that I'm getting. I'm getting vanilla. They're very light vanilla, though, not like a heavy vanilla. I'm going for a taste. I'm getting like a Quaker oat bar, which is weird because I don't. Oat is a weird aroma to pick up. All right, I have a thought. I'm gonna wait till you guys have your thoughts before I Ooh. say mine. It's not particularly potent on the palate. Mm. It goes down real easy. Mm -hmm. Very yeah. smooth. Yeah, very smooth. Trigger warning. Hmm? People hate. There's a lot of people in the whiskey community hate. Like a lot of people are okay with the word smooth, but a lot also just hate it. Why? Because <laughs> what does smooth mean? I don't know, watered down maybe. Yeah. To me, I think it's complimentary on some and harsh on others. I think I mean, you're right. Like, it's not necessarily a good thing. It can be a good thing. Yeah. It can be. It can absolutely be a good thing. With and this one, it's a great thing. I See, I'm actually leaning the other way. No, With this really? one, it's, it, there's, the smoothness just feels like there's not much there. What did you say? Granola? Mm hmm Yeah, I would agree with that. Yeah, I would agree with that on the palate too. Granola, butter, and honey. I was gonna say almost graham crackery. Yeah. There's something else there. It's it's light. Normally we add a couple drops of water. I would almost want to add like a sprinkle of salt to this one to see what it would do. I think that would make it very interesting. Personally. You actually want me to add salt to your whiskey? At the very end. The very end after you do water? Yes. Yes. I don't want to I don't want to alter our usual system. Yes. Yeah. All right. So you want me to add some water then? Yes. I really like this. I like it, but I also don't. <laughs> That's not helpful, Eric. <laughs> like, I'm thinking he's going to go threes across the board. <laughs> I don't know. That water does help. On the nose, it gives it even oh more perfume. I'm not gonna lie. My first whiff after adding water we got manure. <laughs> I'm not sure why. <laughs> it tastes like crap. I also grew up on a farm, so I have like a very specific like manure smell that I'm thinking of. But you're right, that I think the water on the palate brought out a lot of vanilla. Yeah. And a little bit more of the crackeriness. Didn't bring out alcohol stringency. It brought out it vanilla. Brought some floral on the palate. A little bit. Which I'm not a huge fan of. It, but it did give it more character. Because before it was just kind of bland. I'm realizing I'm not giving any attention to the finish. It gave it Kind of uh, Is there a finish? No, I I don't think so. <laughs> I, I'm like, what finish? Yeah. yeah. You're not giving any attention to the finish because it's not there. Yeah. But I think the water gave it a creamy mouthfeel. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like I think the really water did take, overall improve it. Yeah. Like taking a swig of half and half. Or, French vanilla half and half. Yeah. Kind of French vanilla creamer cups. Vanilla floral some some oaty like, graham cracker yeah. crisp. Yeah. And like I said, that the odie is just weird. Like I Yeah. I don't think of 
I can't, I mean, there might be something out there, but I can't think of anything without in the mash bill. Like, I've gotten cereal notes before. Right. But this is not just cereal. This is like straight up granola. Yeah. Do you want me to add, you want to add the salt before our reading or after the reading? Let me get just a little sprinkle of salt. I, I'm very interested in seeing what that might do. Got our Aldi brand salt here. Oh, yeah, so just do like a some to your hand and then pinch it out into the yes. I'm gonna do that. Same thing. I'm just gonna have him pinch some into mine. I got somewhere to this part. Um, I'm just gonna go outside and just. <laughs> I'll vacuum. <laughs> I just don't want to be rude. Nah. <laughs> Nothing? No. It just made it more salty. Everything else is there. Just more salty. Yeah. Now just taste it. Yeah, just give it a. Salt water like taste. a scotchy brine. We'll dive into the ratings then. I'll start with the nose. I'm gonna give it a three. It is average. I'm not shocked. It is <laughs> light. God, I don't really have much to say. It's just, it's just bland. I'm, I'm gonna go three and a half on the nose. I like the, I like the floral notes. I liked the, uh, the grainy cereal granola aromas that came out uh, to me. I kind of like the nose. I thought it was better than average. Not extreme, so. Yeah. I'm actually gonna go two. I just did not find enough on the nose there. It was not It was not potent enough. I had to like really concentrate to kind of get anything, so I don't want to work for my nose. Palette. I'm gonna give it a one and a half. It's, it's okay. There just isn't anything there on the palate for me. Like there's, it's working far too hard to get something. I'm, I'm gonna go three. It was easy to pick up the notes. Um, what you smell is what you get. A little bit of buttery flavor was a surprise because I didn't really pick that up on the aroma. But um, other than that, I mean, it, it wasn't anything exciting. I'm actually going 3.5. I love the palette. Getting, I really like graham crackers in general. And so getting a graham cracker like taste, um, especially even after, after adding water and really bringing it out, the amount of an explosion of flavor, uh, not alcohol stringency uh, with, with adding water was really surprising to me and I really enjoyed it. So I'm giving it a 3.5. But again, my rings are biased, so. Keep that in mind. I really don't know how to rate the finish. There wasn't a whole lot of finish there. I want to go with a one. Okay. Because it wasn't there. I'm going to go 0. 0.5 uh, for the same reasons. There is no finish to rate. Actually, zero. Okay. Is yeah. zero a score we can give? Yeah. Then I'm yeah. going zero. Yeah. Okay. There, there was no, there was no finish. It was smooth. But that's a two. Know, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing here. That's, a, <laughs> that's what I'm giving it as a two because for me, it may just be how I rate things. Um, where I would only give it a zero if I didn't like something being not there, like low score because it's not there. I did feel like there was a little bit of just dryness, just left your mouth a little dry. Um, so actually, because of that, I'm just going to just drop it down to Can I just disqualify the finish? And just not give it a score? Uh, it would mess up some stuff. Um, right, so that's why I get to zero, because there isn't a score to give. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, that's at least how I think of it. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's talk about professionals. Professionals. Those would be the ones that just get paid to read. Well, some of them get paid. Some are just like us. They're just other YouTubers yeah. or other bloggers who are just giving their opinion. Nose. Uh, most common notes were sweet. And herbal slash medicinal. Floral okay. kind of fits into that kind of realm as well. Okay. Palette, sweet, caramel, and vanilla were the three most common. And then finish, sweet, light, and some, they had more than one, say acidic. Well, light's not wrong. I don't necessarily agree with acidic. All right, so, and then ratings. Whiskey Advocate gives this an 82. Wine Enthusiast gives this a 80 to 84. All right, so let's take some guesses for reveal time. We're looking for 
type, proof, and what would you pay and what do you think MSRP is? Proof? I'm, all, I'm always bad at guessing. This is where I struggle. Um, I'm gonna go proof, 80 proof. As far as type, I'm gonna go with Irish, I think. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm going with. And what I would pay is probably about, I might pay 12 to 14. Okay. MSRP, I'm gonna put it at 16. Okay. Uh, price range, I'm in, I'm in the same ballpark. I was actually gonna say 14 to 18. 80 proof, very, very mild. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm gonna go 80 proof. And type, I'm gonna say the butter and cereal notes that I'm getting leads leans me towards a scotch. And I almost want to say a single malt. So let's, I'm gonna just go slowly reveal some information for to you as we go about. Okay. Uh, you are right, this is 80 proof. The general price for this bottle is $10. Okay. Um, I paid nine for it. Uh, the age on this is three years. The distillery is owned by Heaven Hill. It's not Heaven Hill, but it is owned by Heaven Hill. And it's a Canadian whiskey. That was my second choice. Today you drank Black Velvet. That was my second choice. It was, I thought, just thought it was too good to be Canadian. And I gave it a total of four and a half points. <laughs> <laughs> Out of 15. Yeah, out of 15. <laughs> and I thought it was too good to be Canadian. <laughs> that being said, you guys, you guys think Irish? I, I got both of your, I understood why you both said what you did. Yeah, I mean, um, I, I reasoned mine, I thought, you know, yeah. the, the notes I got were... Irish tends cool. to have, you know, this like shortbread, buttery feel to it, um, which it's can have more so. It can happen in Scotch, depending on the Scotch, depending on the region. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so no, I, I get it. So based, based purely on what you tasted, I get that. I think the reason, part of the reason I gave it higher ratings than you guys did, uh, some some things, is because I had low expectations going to this. Mm -hmm. That so, is fair. So there's my bias. That's why I think I probably gave it a better rating. I, I um, would have to say the Velvet does definitely fit the name with the, the smoothness yes, of yeah. it. And I do want to add that my scores are more on that it was bland, not that it was bad. So you guys would pay ten dollars for this? Yes. Yeah. I mean, you know, if I'm thinking it, it costs more than what you paid, then I mean, I, I said it, I thought what it was, you paid. Yeah, I said I thought it was sixteen dollars for ten. Absolutely. Yeah. For nine, definitely. Yeah, it's currently on sale still for nine. And it's a dollar off, so mm -hmm. not a big deal. I don't know that it's a particularly good mixer, which is generally what I'm looking for. Well, you mix a lot of Canadian or of um. Crown Royal. I do, but Crown Royal also has more personality. Now, you say that now, let's find out later down the road. Mm -hmm. If I remember to ever do that, look at the budget battle episode here, maybe, if we get that point. Hopefully we do. That's all we have. Thanks for watching. If you like what we're doing, please hit that like button. If you want to continue to see more videos from us, hit that subscribe button. Ring the little bell so you get notified when you have new episodes. Uh, if you're at all interested, we have our new Patreon down below. We're still looking for ideas for what kind of tiers to have. Uh, and if you're at all interested in buying this bottle, uh, and for some reason you don't have access to it, you should have access to it. This is a very widely available bottle. But for some reason you can't, uh, you can order it from Drizzly at the link below. Um, proceeds from that will do a little small kickback to the channel and help us pay to help pay us to continue to make more videos and to buy more bottles. That being said, may the winds of fortune sail you. May you sail a gentle sea. May it always be the other guy that says, This, this drink's on me. me. That was all salt at the bottom. Yeah, it didn't I think it actually got it though, like a weird different note there. It was like almost cherry. Like kind of, it's I like a cherry vanilla coke. Didn't mind yeah. the bottom, but it was like cherry vanilla coke right there. Yeah, it did. It did. It just, you have to let the salt do its thing a little bit, yeah. Yeah. No, that's a moment with cherry vanilla coke. That's what, yeah. it, that's what it just tasted like. Yeah, that's actually not bad with the salt if you let it sit. Yeah, yeah.